So when managing follicular lymphoma patients in the first line setting, uh, we do separate usually patients between patients with limited stage disease, which eventually can receive radiation therapy, something that is quite popular in the United Kingdom, a little bit less used in other parts of Europe. Doing watch and wait and uh, watchful waiting for patients with a limited tumor burden, either localized or extended stage, or starting a new treatment for patients with extended stage and symptoms. For those patients with symptoms or those that we call a high tumor burden patients, the standard of care have been chemotherapy plus anti-CD20. And it has shown that the, uh, uh, with apply, when applying rituximab maintenance, there was a prolongation of uh, disease-free interval in this patient. Nowadays, uh, given the result of chemo-free approach, there have been some studies comparing this immunochemotherapy approach to the non-chemo approach, such as a relevant study which compare rituximab chemo versus uh, the R-square regimen. That's in the first line setting, but when we come in the relapse setting, clearly we have to think about several options, which include repeating rituximab, combining rituximab with other agents, investigating new agents such as kinase inhibitors alone or in combination with rituximab, despite the fact that some of these agents may have also their own underlying toxicities. So I think we have to keep in mind that we can use several agents over the lifetime of the patients and uh, that chemo is not the only answer when patients relapse.